What's popping, Jimbos? We are back at it with another Pokemon tournament. I know there's a small section of viewers that are disappointed by the severe lack of Clash of Clans content, but I promise you it is coming. But only lay, allow me to lay the groundwork for the parameters of this tournament. So this is a 16-man tournament. The theme this time around is it's a Gen 7 overuse, but it is a monotype tournament. So you must choose one Pokemon type, sort of uh, equivalent to what a gym leader would do, but you have to stick with that one type and be consistent with it throughout the entire tournament. You cannot make any edits to your moveset, your Pokemon, your items, or even your stats. I, albeit you change your stats, nobody's going to notice, but that's besides the point. So on the left end, we have the user, uh, XXXXHeadAss, otherwise known as White Cheese who is highly touted as one of the worst Pokemon players to ever grace the game. He is infamous for attempting to use a normal type move on a ghost type. Meanwhile, on the other end of the spectrum, we have Rin Gonzalez. Uh, she has made one appearance and she was a loss. However, it was a one hour long chess match intertangled with Lego Yoda. So given all of these factors, Rin should be the heavy favorite here over X, despite Rin not having a prestigious or a storied PFC record, but anything can happen. This is Pokemon. So despite the Vegas odds favoring one over the other, let's see how this goes. This is post commentary. All right. And already from Jim loves fat woman, Giat, uh, which is also not a true statement. Uh, for the record, and everyone is spectating this. Okay, so we have the Sandstorm set. Immediately switches to the Garchomp, and then immediately eats it up with the Hydro Pump. Not even super effective damage because the Dragon typing negates the super effective. But still, two hits and the Garchomp is dead. That was essentially a sack with ugly horn ass assuming control but the earthquake does manage to pierce some good damage and then sends out the exadrill to immediately get consumed and then uh rider uh loving the x white cop icon and then x already sort of getting cocky here you can say you already know he's he's feeling himself out now we have rashawn gary a great nickname um, oh, then X with the not falling for that again, little bro. Didn't get baited this time around. And made the appropriate switch. Keldo comes in, the slack off for the healing, but is it going to be enough? Because Ugly Hornass is coming. I know surely this thing has water. Oh, it, it does not have water absorbed. So I don't know why that switch was made. That was another sack. And it is now... A 6-0 series in favor of X. Now, Bug Dick comes in. With Mamoswine not trying to beef up, hoping to tank a hit, but it barely takes a close combat. So that was essentially a wasted turn. And it resists the Earthquake. So, without the boost anyway, Bug Dick would still have the upper hand here. An absolute curb stomping, but finally, one Pokemon in X's team is taken out with a 5-3 lead. However, X's team is fully healthy. Oh, okay, buddy. Real funny with the nickname there. Everyone's everyone's laughing a storm there. Okay. Of course, um, words of encouragement from Ryder in the chat. Okay. Already looking like a clean sweep. Now with only two Pokemon remain, I don't think Liscor is going to be able to cook something up here. Iron Head. All right. Are we going to see some beefing up with the Swords Dance, hoping for a desperate sweep at the end? But I don't think it will be enough. Toxic Poison for the heal. Another Iron Head to boot. Earthquake, super effective. Okay, so Ren has finally found an opening to cook up a game plan. But I don't know how she's going to plan for the Keldo, which, speaking of, sends in the Keldo. A Hydro Pump, instant kill. And then X takes it. Well, technically, okay, no, we have one more Pokemon. But unless Hydro Pump misses here, there's no way. Yep, Hydro Pump lands. And now X takes it. One oh oh, brother! What happened? What happened? Uh, an absolute sweep. One of the most abominable performances I have seen from a Pokemon player 
X, there was no answer for the Quagsire did not have water absorbed. So there was no counter for water on a ground themed team. And X didn't even have a water team. It was literally one dude. One guy, Ugly Hornass, alone, did all of the lifting. And somehow, Rin had no answers for it whatsoever. This will go down as a national disaster. But X takes it 1-0. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we now have game two between X and Rin Gonzalez. First, let me mute this shit. Nobody wants to hear the game audio. We have real music playing. Alright, let's get this show on the road. Alright, uh, okay, once again, we have the Hippo coming, and this time with the nickname provided uh, for the Sandstorm support. Close combat does absolutely nothing to contribute to the fight here. The Sandstorm, now the Stealth Rock, we're already seeing some late game prep work from. Rin's end while X is going solely for the forehead energy. Okay, realizing that Pokemon was not effective, Ugly Hornass comes in. X, you can't see the chap. X is saying, what the fuck, this ain't do nothing, as 120 damage. Not able to process why close combat was unable to do damage to a high defensive Pokemon. So Ugly Hornass trying to come in. Water Absorb was out there, otherwise that would have been a, an amazing read on Rin's end. But without the ability... It is looking more and more desperate of a situation. Ugly horn ass. Once again, getting the sweep going. The LMAO bitch coming from XXX head ass in the chat. White cheese. Now feeling himself. The guard chomp comes and is able to tank a hydro pump. Why would he go for the swords dancer? You need this guy gone now. Once you have it gone, then it's a fair fight. Ops for it anyway. Now Exadrill gets set in. Hoping to read the hydro pump, but it is an instant kill. I think she's thinking, okay, so Rin is confused, saying you still resist water. X saying, put the fries in the bag. And also thought the Mega Garchomp would have outsped there. An absolute meltdown from Rin, making all the raw mental decisions, had plenty of opportunity to take out the Keldal, but somehow it is. It stood until the very end, and now X has a fully healthy team while Rin is kind of playing a cat and mouse game with switches upon switches. Xavier McKinney comes in, great player for the Packers, possibly a defensive player of the year with four interceptions in the season so far, so a good swap in my X. Earthquake enough to tip it away, but not enough for the kill, which is not good for Rin, because once this scene has the uh, uh, move here, now we have the stat boost, and all it takes is one hit, and then you immediately find yourself... Uh, dug into a deeper hole. Ice Shard, get rid of it. That was a good play by Ren. Eliminating X's biggest threat. Now, it is possible, very unlikely, but I don't think the speed favors here. I'm not sure that was the right switch. Hippo coming in. The Mega Golade. How much is this going to do? A Swords Dance. Okay, so X choosing a non attacking moves for the first time with Malik Willis coming in. When will Hungry Hippo cook up? And almost an instant kill with a close combat, but was able to tank one. Rowind is now used. I know how that's going to benefit him whatsoever. I suppose Hungry Hippo is more of a support Pokemon, but this is not going to change anything. I guess it was to nullify the stat boosting. But at this point, I don't think it matters, man. Your only way is you got to hope for a crit here, because Rin does not have much resources. You have two defensive Pokemon, one offensive Pokemon. X has a much more balanced team. Curse comes in. Unfortunately, uh, I'm not sure Rin realizes, but she is at 40, uh, 20 HP. And even with the defensive buff, uh, super effective typically does kill there. Uh, much of the chagrin of Rin. Oh, the guard jump coming at 22 HP, and Iron Head immediately kills it, as Rin uh, thought it would provide a stat boost of speed with the Mega Evolution. And now X. Talking shit in chat. Iron Head tanks a single Iron Head. What do we cook? Oh, the flinch! Not that it matters anyway. It's literally four Pokemon to one, and this guy is not an attacker. But X! Managing to land every single Hydro Pump on top of that is looking good. And now, commentary from X. The X does it again, bitches. Rider shocked in chat. That X actually managed to win the series. Not only did he win, he won in a dominating fashion. A very unskilled player plays like how your younger cousin would play. They see all the cool high damage and attacking moves, and they see someone boosting their stats, and they absolutely just they scoff at the idea of it. An insult to the game. 
But now, X finally starting to adapt here, using some swords dances, and outmaneuvered Rin, who kept trying to make the reads, but the issue is she had no valid switch-ins. Because all X had to do was just sheer forehead over and over again with the same moves. And because of the lack of balance on Rin's team, she wasn't able to get any switches in even when she tried to make a read. So it was a sweep after a sweep. You can't really play a chess match when you have an all offensive team like Rin. While X played to his strengths, just kept spamming the shit out of moves and Rin was not able to find any counters. There was definitely some mental mistakes by Rin on her end, some things she could have done better. So a lot of times she tried to go for like a swords dance, a defensive move to try to boost her stats, but then I, the move would do so much damage that the stat boost was for nothing and then she'd get killed the next turn. Albeit, I don't think it would have changed anything because X's team was not only more offensive, but also just straight up Rin's Pokemon were not offensive enough to counter it with the beat boost, so it was just, it was a lost cause to begin with. But X takes the series 2-0. Kudos to my guy. And now he advances to round two to take on the champion, the bro of chill. Best of luck.